Hey everybody, it's Alicia with Graceful Plants and today we are talking about fairy castle cacti. So here in the great frozen tundra of Wisconsin, we've already got snow on the ground, which to each their own, but I'm a fall girl and I completely missed fall, apparently. Like we didn't even take jack trick-or-treating this year because there was way too much snow outside and it was way too cold for him. We just said, maybe next year, buddy. Sorry. I guess mom and dad are just going to have to go buy our own candy. <laughs> so the one nice thing about it getting cold here is that all the places around my area that sell plants put everything on pretty decent discount. I mean, with the exception of Lowe's because they have an indoor greenhouse, basically. Everywhere else doesn't really have any place to store their plants. So everything gets a nice deep discount. So around my area, I know that the fairy castle cactus weren't really that expensive to begin with, but I guess that's just the frugal mom in me. I really didn't want to pay full price for it. Just, I don't know, because I'm cheap, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But when I was at Walmart the other day, I noticed that they were pretty deeply discounted. So I picked one up. So... I have not taken this guy out of the box yet. It's definitely seen better days. The box is pretty banged up and you can tell that it was definitely overwatered at least once before. So we are going to repot this guy and get him out of this box and planter that he is in. And hopefully I don't get poked that much, which I'm sure I will which will be my fault because I'm just too lazy to go dig out my pruning gloves in a garage. So let's see what happens. <laughs> so I know that these are very slow growing cacti. So I tried to pick out one that was fairly decent sized and that didn't look like it was in too rough of shape, which this one didn't seem too bad. As you can see over here, the fake flowers have already been knocked off of it, which was nice because that saves me from having to pick these off of them. Um, but yeah, they're just really vibrant, pretty colored straw flowers that are basically a marketing ploy to get people to buy them, basically. As you can see, it did color some of the cactus. It did stain it pink, but that's not a big deal. So you can kind of see where they were probably when they were being overwatered. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to get this guy out of the pot without filling my hands with all of these little tiny prickers because it's one thing to have a cactus needle stuck in your finger if it's a big one and you can see it and you can pull it out right away. It's another one to get one of these little suckers in your finger because you can't see where they're at. So you just, it feels like a little sliver. So, wish me luck here. I'm hoping John's home so the dog's gonna bark here in about two seconds. Yeah. All right, so now that we got most of the dirt off of the roots of this guy, he looks pretty good. I mean, for being on clearance and obviously overwatered a few too many times, he doesn't look too bad. Um, and I'm going to be putting him into this planter, and it is a little bit bigger than what he should be getting put into. However, this is all I have. Um, at the moment, cactus prefer to be in terracotta pots where the terracotta will wick away any extra moisture from the roots of the cactus, but I don't have any terracotta right now. <laughs> and this is a little bit too big, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to work until I can get a proper sized terracotta pot. And then I will be using this Bonsai Jack Gritty Mix. Uh, this is what I use for some of my 
uh, succulent arrangements and it, it is very well very well draining as well as quick draining so I have another cactus in a glazed pot with this mix in it and it is doing great so I'm hoping that this guy will be okay in this pot with this mix or at least until I get the right sized pot so I'm just going to be putting quite a bit of this in the bottom here so like I said this is just going to be a temporary home for it so we will make do Oh, don't poke me, don't poke me, don't poke me. All right, there we go. I don't think that looks too bad. All right, so there we are. My new fairy castle cactus all planted up in its semi-temporary home. <laughs> uh, like I said, these are very slow growing cacti and yeah. I'm excited to kind of see how he does next summer when it starts warming up again. But in the time being, he will just be put in my plant room underneath the, the grow lights. And we're just kind of let him be for the winter. And if you didn't know, they call them fairy castle cacti because of all these different spines that come up. Uh, they look like the turrets of a castle. So he's cute. But as always, you guys are awesome. Please make sure to like, comment, and share this video or any of my other videos with any of your plant-loving friends. If you have any questions, let me know about down below. Is there anything in particular that you guys would like to see video-wise? I know that some of you asked for a plant tour, but my house is kind of a mess right now, so it's coming <laughs> once I get my office and my plant room kind of cleaned up. It will happen. It's just mama needs a little cleaning fairy to show up first. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Alicia with Graceful Plants and today we are going to be talking cactus, cacti cactuses.